Welcome back to Creasonomics with your host, Mr. Gray. Today is um, is actually Creasonomics Unsolved Mysteries. And what mystery exactly, you ask, are we trying to solve today? We're trying to solve who, who disrespected my Nike shipment like this, like this, like this, like this, like I mean, did it get in a fight with a pit bull at the warehouse? I mean, I know it. I know. I absolutely know this box did not leave Nike headquarters like this. So the question is, you know, did it get in when it when it on its way to North Carolina, when it stopped in Memphis, Tennessee? Did it did it get in a fight with the same people who stole all the trophy ones and they and then the actual shipper won because they got it to me? I, I really don't know. And I probably never will know. But my, I guess my question would be is, why would they put an open sneaker? I mean, I guess I should be, I should be happy. I should be happy. I did get the sneakers. Um, but man, if I lived like in New York, like somewhere with a front, a front, a doorstep where there's a sidewalk where people are walking in front of my house all day, I want to saw these sneakers. These snack sneakers, as you can see, observed by. Um, the, the the shots that are available by the investigators that investigated this 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 um this crime scene that we're sitting at now, um. It, it was it was a it was a massacre. I don't know how these shoes survived, but they did. And for those people who did it, I just want you to know that I will not rest. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, I just want to say for all you people out there who have had sneakers stolen or destroyed or box destroyed i finally now for your pain i've had a couple boxes slightly dented but never destroyed like this all i can say it was by the grace of the sneaker guys that this sneaker box actually only received this one little mark right here that's it so i really don't have a lot to complain about so i won't complain really right now um this 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 really isn't a sneaker review. Um, I never had any true intentions of actually reviewing the Dunk UNLV since it's not a collab. I mean, it's just taking the uh one the dunks that we've been seeing a lot lately and just flop flopping colors. But for those who's like, well, at least show me the sneaker, I would do you right by at least saying here's the sneaker. Um, it made it safely. I did see a um. What did I see? I saw somebody put a shot online where they had a, like a crease like going right through here. It was like really bent really bad there. There's actually somebody else who got the same shoe and said their box was tore up just as bad as mine. So, like I said, there must have been some sort of fight. I, I, like I said, a pack of pit bulls must have attacked the shipment on its way into North Carolina from Memphis, Tennessee. Y'all shiesty brothers, as Marcus Jordan puts it. Anyway. Like I said, this wasn't really a sneaker review. It was a sneaker uh, view, but this is really more so so we can come to the scene of the crime to let you people know that steal or attempt to steal. I guess y'all weren't interested in these. They didn't look like Jordan, so y'all didn't know the value of dunks. But y'all, and I'm glad y'all weren't interested. So fortunately, everything here is okay. But um, later on, as I bury this box. And I pour some some milk or some water into the ground in memory of this poor, destroyed, misshapen, attacked box. I'm going to be thinking about you guys here on Creasonomics Unsolved Mysteries. Thinking to myself how horrible it is that you would do that to sneaker lovers. Anyway, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to Creasonomics. Mr. Gray out. Oh.